and let me get away with not praying. Oh God, I am so proud, but I just need the mic. If you can put it up for me. I want to feel from the Lord to do something different and prophetic, a prophetic act of repentance. If we can stand up, I need your help to please stand up with me. We are going to pray for the redemption of our land that has come in through, let me read the scripture, the shedding of innocent blood. And we as the church have stood at times silent behind four walls. And our city is bleeding. America is bleeding. And until we stand with identificational intercession and prayer of repentance for every innocent child, every innocent unborn that has been slaughtered in the womb, we today, the church, must repent because we do not want to connect the gaps when our own innocent children in our neighborhoods, in our own families are being slaughtered in our neighborhoods and the streets. Babies, widows, moms, Young people, youth, young girls, and we just saw Chicago, Buffalo, Texas, and the Bronx. For those of you from, that are from the Bronx, I stand proxy for the clergy and the church, angels of Jesus Christ in the Bronx that leads in abortion, leads with facilities of death, dungeons of death, like Dr. Emily's on 149th Street in Brooklyn, like on East Chester Road across the street from the 49th precinct, where many of us that are part of the life team go every three months and do 40 days of fasting and prayer and stand before those facilities and oftentimes bishops we have stopped the slaughter of a baby because we were there praying while counseling ministry. So right now, I'm going to read a scripture. God will not hold any blameless for the deaths of the innocents. Psalm 106 38 I want to release it into the atmosphere to shift the word of God has authority it speaks for itself and we want to release it to the four gates of our city to the north gate the south gate the western gate and the eastern gates and we're gonna take a hold of the gates of our city and at that gate we're gonna say to the devil no more and we're grateful for the Roe v. Wade reversal and in the name of Jesus we stand for life we stand for life do you agree wow and so in Jesus name and the shedding of innocent blood, even blood of the sons of their daughters, and polluted the land with blood. Six things does the Lord hate. Seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. So, Father God, we're going to stand right now with the spirit of repentance 
I need you to help me. Can we touch and agree? Can we get someone next to us in the power of agreement right now? Help me because I don't have the voice. Let God hear you that through the blood of Jesus, there can be healing, redemption of our land and of the people and of our families. In the name of Jesus Christ, can we turn north? Can we turn north? And it's, yes, as we pray, pray with your partner. If we could stand north, extend our hands and declare that through the blood of Jesus, we do identification and repentance for every child that has been slaughtered in the womb. And that in the name of Jesus there is forgiveness and there is a wiping away of guilt and shame that God can intervene moving forward and fix this Lord my God abomination of the spirit of death and a culture of death in our land in our city New York City that there will be a cleansing there will be a restoring. There will be a redeeming. There will be a covering through the blood, Father God, for every mom, Lord, every young woman, and even young man that allow this, Father, even out of innocence, not understanding, not being saved, not having and carrying the Holy Spirit to convict them. But we release that today. And if we could turn to the West in the name of Jesus. This is West. We say, God, we repent. We ask for forgiveness as your church, as your kingdom ambassadors, as your holy priesthood. We stand in the gap. We feel every vacuum. And we declare, God, that you, Lord, can hold back that spirit of death in the land. The spirit of violence in the land. The spirit of suicide in the land. In every manner and shape and form of death. In Jesus' name. We pray. And we turn to the south. We declare in the name of Jesus. That every facility. Oh God. Every place. Where they do these for the abortions, even after this decision now, in every state, oh God, we pray for intervention. We pray for the reverse. We pray, God, that life prevails. The resurrection life of Christ. The resurrection power of Christ. We, oh God, use the blood, decree and declare that the blood of Jesus speaks louder than the blood of Abel crying out from the corners, from the neighborhoods, from those facilities. Father, for the unborn, oh God. And we turn lastly, Father God, to the east. So we know, Father God, that when you come, the sun comes back. It's coming from the east. There's something about the east. And we declare, Father, your sovereignty. That you are in the seat of government in our city. And we pray that even that law of, that represents lawlessness right here. And has brought danger. And has brought, Father, fear. We speak, Lord God, for a reversal. Oh God, as an attorney, I understand the Constitution. I understand the law. I understand that you're the righteous judge. I understand that Christ is the advocate that is advocating for every child. So we repent from the smallest to the highest, from the highest to the lowest. And as your holy priesthood today, ask you, Lord, to save our children, to save our families, to save, oh God, in every corner, in every gate, in every borough of this city. Let New York be the catalyst, not of death. Let it be a catalyst of life, of revival, of reformation.
reformation, of restoration. Let New York City be the catalyst, oh God, for such a time as this, for redemption, for healing and restoration. And that this repentance will change the atmosphere in the heavens, that you hear the outcry and the spirit of forgiveness, oh God, upon us as you have said in Second Chronicles. When your people shall call by your name to humble themselves, it's like they turn from their wicked ways. Lord God, if they pray and seek your face, we would hear from heaven and you would heal, forgive, and heal the land. So forgive the church for its silence. Oh God, forgive us when we let it happen in our sheep, in our own families, because of the stigma in the sheep. And we pray these things today, honoring you, glorifying you, because this is your will. This is your heartbeat, life.